right, well, here's a continuation on this uh, synchronous uh, AC motor. And um, several things. Um, people are asking about what kind of an amp draw was I doing at this 18 volts coming off this generator that the syn synchronous motor was producing. And uh, I mentioned it was a 10 milliamp, and then if I dropped off one of the LEDs, it, it went to over 20 milliamps and stalled the motor so I wanted to show that. The other thing was somebody mentioned putting a motor on the other side of the coil and that works and it doesn't affect the draw on the kilowatt meter and I wanted to show that also and I've been doing some study on AC power and how they calculate the actual usage of the power and it's way different than DC so I'm kind of scratching my head on this but I'm <clears throat> using this kilowatt meter here, and the kilowatt meter um, may or may not be giving me the information that I need. Um, I don't know, but there's different uh, buttons here. One is an uh, amp, uh, one is watts, one is the hertz, the one's the voltage, um, and then there's a power function, power factor that I've been uh, reading up on how that power factor works. So let me show you how this is working. It's uh, energized here on a 12-volt um, transformer, um, but it's not activating the system yet. Let me turn this on, and I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Turn the power switch on so that I now have uh, power going to the coil here. And this is what's actually taking the load right here is alternating currents going through that coil. And uh, there's my amperage. There's the voltage. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wattage. There's the uh, amperage. Of course, voltage is 12 or 13 volts coming out of this. I'm not exactly sure. It might be 14 or better. I haven't looked at that. Here's the power factor, though. It's at 0.86. And that power factor is something that uh, I need to really take a look at to figure out what's going on here, because that's one of the things that I'm, I don't quite understand right now. Anyway, let me put this back on the uh, wattage, because that's really what we want to look at. How much juice this is this is consuming right now, and it looks like 12.3 watts with the system idling right there. Now I'm going to be pulling power off it using these motors, and that's what's confusing me is I'm not seeing an increase on that number there. I'm seeing a decrease. Let me start the big one first. This is the uh, the larger motor, and I'm using. Uh, a 9 volt plus a 12 volt plus a 9 to rev this up fast enough just to get it to start. Okay, now that motor generator is working. There are the LEDs on. That is what the amp draw of this meter is showing. Now I have a variable resistor, it's a 25 ohm rheostat, so that I can vary the draw. with this knob. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start another motor back here. Notice my wattage is down. Let me start the second motor. Okay, now the second motor got started with that AA battery. I've got two motors running, one on each side of the coil, and that's a motor generator too, and I could take off power of about one volt and just a few milliamps off that. This is still pumping in about eight milliamps with those nine LEDs lit up. Now here comes old Maggie. She doesn't have a problem with that situation at all on either side and she'll light up on either side of this thing look at my wattage 
Let me just look at the power factor again. 0.81 now on the power factor. Let me look at the amps. Ten amps or a hundred, a hundred, a hundred uh, milliamps. I'm sorry, hundred milliamps. There's the wattage at ten point six watts. Now, <clears throat> this is something I wanted to show. Was what I'm going to do is turn this all the way down, which is what it is, and I'm going to take one of the LEDs out of the string. Now, there's six in there. I'm going to go down to five. Watch the amp draw here. If it'll still run. Okay, now I'm down to five LEDs, and there's my amps. 21 amps coming out of this thing. And I uh, actually tested this with just running it up with the uh, battery, and this is what it looks like. It looks like about 20, 20 milliamps um, when you're just using the, the battery. But anyway, I just thought I would show that to folks, and... Uh, there's the, the watts again. Let's look at the power factor. 0 0.82, 0.83. There's the amps, 100 milliamps, 10.4 watts. And that's with all this stuff going on. And like I say, I'm scratching my head trying to figure out uh, why. Why is all this going on? But there it is. Now, one last quick thing about uh, this is uh, there's a lot of concern about me retiring Maggie. And I think what I can do is just put a piece of plastic on the front of this coil and save her and then carefully replace the um, plastic tape. The danger is on the back here where the wires go into that bridge rectifier. If I break the wire, coming out of the bottom of the coil she's done so I, I may just very carefully leave that all intact back there because um, this uh, 45 gauge wire once you break it uh, especially down at the very bottom there you can't do much with that so I may try to save her just by putting a piece of plastic on the front she's become rather popular <laughs> Anyway, thanks guys for watching in the comments.